70 people statewide want to run for Congress in the upcoming primary election. They've all submitted paperwork to get on the May 15th primary ballot. The redrawn congressional districts have apparently sparked more interest in running for Congress. One candidate is running for re-election even as he awaits final certification of his previous race. Connor Lamb has filed his nominating petitions now to run in the new 17th congressional district. And in a one-on-one -on -one interview with Polit Lamb talked about his win in the 18th. While not officially congressman-elect, Connor Lamb appears more relaxed these days. Feeling great. Thank you, John. And why not? So far, the ongoing official tabulations have not helped Republican Rick Saccone overcome Lamb's narrow but clear lead. And Lamb is expected to be sworn in come April. You won this election by about three-tenths of one percent. To what do you attribute your victory? Hard work. Uh, we just really did things the old-fashioned way from the very beginning. Uh, we went everywhere, all over the district. We met people in person, on their doorsteps, in town halls. Uh, and we did it all the time, all day, every day. But Lamb knows some specific groups were very helpful to his election, like organized labor. These unions are the ones that have stuck up for working people and middle-class families for generations. I was happy to stand with them from the beginning. And I learned a lot from them about the issues that we're all facing. And they really were able to put out a lot of people on the ground to, to multiply our own efforts. Some union members who voted for Donald Trump even switched to Lamb or didn't vote. What do you owe them? Well, I, I don't know that, we, that I owe them anything other than continued cooperation, friendship, relationship. Uh, I want to fight for them because they represent working and middle class people all over this district. Another key group for Lamb, suburban women, especially the so-called anti-Trump resistance groups that organized long before Lamb was a candidate. They played a big role, a, a very important role, and particularly the organized groups that you're talking about, uh, I was honored to have their support. And like you said, they were out there standing in the cold and the rain and, and building democracy before I ever came along. So the fact that they were willing to support me and work so hard was a big part of what it took for us to succeed. Now, Lamb was also the beneficiary of a record turnout in Allegheny County, the only county he was running in that he won. So how does he intend to win the 17th, much of which is new to him, against incumbent Congressman Keith Rothfuss? And will he ignore Green, Washington, and Westmoreland counties now that he's running in a brand new district north and west of them? You'll hear his answers coming up new at 6. Reporting live, I'm John Delano.